That's amazing. It's so widescreen. Really? That close? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so scary. That's insane. That's so smooth. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> hey, <Glitter>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm to do a tree run. It's so sick. Stabilization is ridiculous. You really could just blog on that, couldn't you? I'm good. A couple of years ago, my wife um, got this amazing keyboard. It's huge and it's really incredible. And um, she was after a keyboard amplifier. And actually, we didn't have a lot of cash. Look at the Christmas bedlam. And so I thought, what can I do to get an affordable keyboard amplifier? Something that is cheap, something that does the job, and I realised if I plugged directly into the return of a mega affordable amplifier, it would absolutely suffice for a clean signal for the keyboard. This is what I got my wife. I got her a little awesome micro dark from Orange, and all it does is you bypass the, that's the phones, you bypass the input, and all I do is plug the keyboard straight into the return back here. And what I was thinking is, I wonder how good you could make an affordable amplifier sound using the return input method. So just maybe a bunch of cool pedals um, and then compare the pedals through the return to using the preamp and the preamp gain. Let's find out. Also, uh, since my wonderful wife just got me this incredible GoPro, I figured why not do a bit of an audio test with the GoPro just to see how it sounds, just a one-off. I'll probably never do this again. But so this is just the Hero 5 Black audio. No tweaks, nothing like that. I'm going to plug into it a bunch of pedals I have specifically chosen through rigorous testing that took me at least five minutes to find a great tone. So will return tone be better than input tone on an affordable head like the Micro Dark. Is this a head hack? <laughs> now the first thing is I'm slightly cheating because actually this Vertical 212 has a custom speaker configuration that uh, myself and my bro Rubia from Dorje really enjoy to use and because we both, well I have a signature product from, from um, Victory and beers in with them tight uh, we get a little bit of leeway on things like that. So forgive me the initial cheat of using a Victory 212, uh, vertical 212. All I'm doing is going straight into the front of the Micro Dark. In the loop, I've got the incredible Immerse Reverberator from New Neighbor Pedals, just to give it some reverb and some delay. The tone you're hearing really is the guitar and the amplifier. And so here is kind of a clean tone. <laughs> slight fuzz you're hearing is not the GoPro um, going over in the audio meter. It's just the preamp and the amplifier isn't really designed to do spanking clean tones. You'll hear it if I really smack it. If I turn the gain all the way off and then just nudge it in until, until the volume kicks, you'll hear it's still there. So. It's just not really designed for clean tones. Let's go to a crunch. So we'll give it a little bit of that. I mean, it's all right, it's reasonable, but really what it wants to do, I'm gonna bring a bit that tone in and give it the kind of gain that it really is asking me to do. You can tell it's really much happier at this kind of setting. This is really what it's meant to do. Now again, I have no idea whether this the audio is going to come out great on the GoPro. I've not used this before. This is my first time ever doing this. Um, but let's listen to a little bit of gainy through the input tone on the micro <laughs> I think you'd agree.
agree, that sounds kind of good. It's not bad at all. It's got some pretty good tone through the input. Will the return be any better? Okay, we're back on. Return tone. So now I've got a board on the floor that I'm going to show you right now. So please forgive the uh, pedal board on top of the pedal board, but I couldn't find the power supply for this one, so I'm, I'm borrowing the power from the pedal board below it. But this is what I used. You can see it's, it's hardly any gain. This is the volume for the entire rig, really, if you think about it. And let's go just for... Oh, by the way, these do nothing now. I've completely bypassed uh, the input, so th these may as well just be off. It'll make no difference at all. Here is just the Immerse, um, and this is, I suppose, your clean tone. just as clean as you'd ever want it to be. In fact, I'm going to put more of the, um, the Immerse in because it just sounds great. So let's whack on uh, one of the, the best finds of 2016 for me, which was the Golden Plexi. Now this pedal is, you could forgive for saying, it's all or nothing. <laughs> it's just all of the gain or none of the gain in a tiny Golden Plexi package. But I discovered that through the loop, it's absolutely ridiculous. And by the way, going through the return, the only volume um, you have is either the guitar or at a pedal like a game pedal. That's pretty ridiculous, really. clean tone and an actual gain tone and with the gain pedal having the volume I can just slightly nudge it up put a little bit more of the immerse in and then step on something simple like a chorus pedal and you've got killer affordable tone using the return <laughs> just insane really. It just really goes to show a great set of affordable pedals. I mean the Immerse isn't I suppose but arguably you could use any reverb or delay. A great set of pedals will take you a long way. A long way in tone. I think the return tone is better than the input tone on this micro dark. However obviously we're spending money on pedals so um, 
It's really up to you. Here's the gain tone without the immerse, just to give you a little bit of straight up gainage. <laughs> shows you what a little bit of chorus does to thicken the sound. These were my CH1 Saturns, these were my Immerse reverberator settings and that was my micro dark return tone settings nothing i have been rob chapman take it easy chappers out happy christmas